good morning. It's 7 a.m. 7.30. I just left Walmart. What? I know. It's okay. I have a couple family members that are in desperate need of some wipes, some sanitizing wipes for a myriad of reasons, but they need them and are unable to find them where they live. So, I went on the Walmart grocery pickup last night to see if any of the Walmarts in my area, because clearly I live in Columbus area, there's plenty of Walmarts here, but I went on to see if there were any stores in the area that had any disinfecting wipes. And um, yeah, the one by about 20 minutes from my house, 15, 20 minutes. So I got up early and I ran in and I was able to get what I needed. There was a few left on the shelf. I grabbed a couple, left a couple, and today I will drop one in the mail to one of my family members. They're older and they need, you know, they don't have the, the means and the immune system basically to get out and hunt for this stuff. So if I can do one thing and ship them a pack of wipes or two, I feel good about that. My other cousin lives in a small town and they don't have any. And if I'm able to help her out with her kids, because I love them all, I am more than happy to do so. I was very safe. I wore a mask. I ran in, sanitized, sprayed everything down, and took care of business. I was in and out in five minutes. And I was able to secure a couple of these big ones, 75 wipes. So that'll keep everybody in business, hopefully, for a little while and keep them safe. Right, now I gotta go to work. I got like 20 minutes to go log in. Have a good one. Okay, guys, this is my yarn swift, and it's just a wooden piece. I got it at Knit Picks. If you ever ordered yarn that's not from Alex, that's not from like a big box store, this is how it comes on a skein. So what you do, first off, I'm gonna remove the tag. From it this just tells me who I bought it from and how much I paid for it and what the contents of it you want to keep these because it'll tell you the size of the yarn what it's made of and all that so when you get yarn like this you have to be able to put it into a cake so what we're gonna do it goes on here it's a little big the center and you want to do this before you cut any of your strings that are holding it in one piece right I think it's up there pretty taut Ooh, get that up here and then this piece under here that I'm twisting um, just holds it out like that now you go around here's an end I'll need that in a minute but these are um, strings that they use to keep it from getting tangled up. Oops. And sometimes they're attached and sometimes they're not. So you kind of just have to figure out. So that's my end right there. We're going to leave that alone. And this is the back end. So I'm just going to tuck this in. Maybe. Or is that the front? Hard to tell. I think this is the back side. You just want to look at your yarn, see what's happening with it. The object here is to put it into a cake form so it doesn't tangle while you're using it. You can't use yarn in this condition. I mean, you could, I guess, but you would end up with all kinds of tangles, and we don't want that. And Swifts come in all different shapes and sizes this is just the one that I got I think my mom got it for me for Christmas one year okay so we have that everybody has been freed here's our end this is a ball winder so I will hook this to the table put the yarn in and then I spin it like that and it winds the yarn around it. Let's see if I can get it behind us here and then I'll show you the whole process. But. Ooh, guys, look at my dinner tonight. I took the 
cornbread recipe, right? But I didn't add the sugar to make it sweet. Then I have these little pans from Aldi. They're like little pizza pans. And I took the recipe half and half and I just spread it on the bottom. Put it in the oven for like five minutes, let it firm up. And then I added sauce and cheese and pepperoni. And now I have cornbread pizza bake. Doesn't that look delicious? Because I feel like it's going to be really good. <laughs> Thought I would share. I'm at Joanne doing my curbside pickup that I ordered on the 9th. Today is currently the 18th. So just be aware, if you do it, which is nice and safe, this is how long it takes to, uh, to pick it up. It took nine days, but that's okay. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much. Okay. Super easy, just a little time consuming, or they are open to the public, I think for all the mask makers needing materials this is the line it's still going this is still the line at my little mall strip mall by my house so this is where the line ended for the curbside pickup at Joanne uh, since what I was ordering was not anything essential or absolutely I had to have I did the order I don't care waiting but now I need to get some gas and head home well, I'm getting ready to film a video, but aren't these two just so cute? Dobby, Alex, Wellington. You gonna say hi? Nope. <laughs> they love their window. And there's also, if you can see birds out in that tree, <laughs> it's driving Alex nuts. All right, let's film our video. Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna decorate the mantle. Thought it would be fun to bring you along. I'm just going to put a few spring summer things out and get ready. I didn't decorate for Easter because I wasn't feeling it, but let's decorate some spring. So what I have, first of all, I've got some candles. These I usually leave out, um, but we'll see. And then I pulled out my lantern over here. But first I want to put some greenery up. And these are a couple garlands I got at Target. One last year, I want to say. I don't know, but I whipped them together. Like I, it's two separate ones, and I just kind of um, wrapped them around each other. But we need to have everybody laying on the mantle flat here ish right like flattish I say ish it's wired it's not gonna lay flat right but I want greenery so we have some greenery up front here and then I have my pearls and I thought what I could do is kind of just like weave them around. I'm not necessarily going to wrap these, but I want them to sit on top of the greenery. And then we're going to let it hang down behind the mantle. So let's fix that. Okay. I just want it to kind of lay nice and even on top. Nothing crazy. And then we'll let them hang. I'm not going to have any more fires this season in the fireplace. So how does that look? Oh, that looks good. Okay, we like that, right? Except for that piece. It's okay. How's that looking? We like that, right? Now, I'm into the white. I don't know. You call me crazy. different layers of white back here for sure and then my letters I have to have all the S's up except for this one which is Christmassy. typically
basically put my S's in the center. Right? White center. Got our candles over here. And then we want some greenery. All right, let's go. Oh, more greenery. Like that. And these are from Target pre pre COVID, right? What I like is I can bend the bottoms so they fit the right height that I want. Perfect. And I'm just doing a bunch. Yeah, there we go. Let's put this in the back. There we go. I'm just wanting it to look full, right? Oh, I like that. Let's get this one. Now, this is different. It's also Target. And I like to just kind of open them up. And then they kind of get in there. And then I need something in that one right there. So let's go find some more greenery. And I have some more fern and then this greenery, which I like this greenery, except for it always, it doesn't matter which way I'm doing it. It looks backwards. So we'll put you in here with these guys and then come summer, I'll add more color, but I think I love this green for spring. <gasps> what do you guys think? I like it. I gotta figure out over here. Let me get this. There we go. What do you think? I like that. I need a little more pops of color. Um, but again, oh, I need to hide this. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go dig through some buckets and see if I can find some more color. I got my mantle done. I like that red S. It probably doesn't go, but that's okay. I think it looks very springy. My papa color is the Queen of England. And then come summer, I'll throw some floral pieces up and switch out some of the green, but I just love the green right now and the white. It's so fresh and clean. Yeah, so I think that's fun. And now I'm going to go do the other part of the house. And I think this will be the last of the decorating. I uh, just put some gla some glasses, more greenery. I'm really loving the white, green, and gold this year. And that's the top of my pantry. Now I'm going to go clean the kitchen. It's a disaster. Hey, guys. Well, we are ooh, finishing up this vlog today. I'm cleaning up my kitchen. It's 730. Then I'm going to get ready for bed. Tomorrow is a work-from-home day. <laughs> I know it's getting a little crazy around here but I hope y'all had a good weekend and you have a fantastic week and I will check in with you tomorrow